Life-changing mods for the Jeep Gladiator Mojave. These are simple, but they will change your life. They'll make it easier. Well, good morning, everybody. How are you? today. Pretty good here, and that's right, we've got some life-changing mods for the Jeep Gladiator Mojave. Now, I say we because my buddy Randall, right over there, has brought his Jeep Gladiator over again today. Now, first of all, we'll just take a quick look. These are pretty simple, so we're not really going to do an install, but we'll show you on the inside. Now, these are convenient. They will make your life easier. Now, let's start off right here in the front. You know, I've had some seat stuffers before, right? Well, he now has seat stuffers with storage. You can see these, they just kind of slip in between your seats. You can put stuff in here. He's got a flashlight there. Pretty handy little mod. And you can see the stitching on these also matches the Jeep Gladiator. Color coordinated. Now, looking around in the back, he's also got some hangers that he put on the seats. These are handy to hang stuff like groceries, uh, tools, I don't know, whatever you might need. They just slip over the studs on the headrests and very handy. He also has a little mesh basket here, if you will. Look at this. This is awesome. I'm going to have to put one of these in mine. Pretty cool. Again, just slips over the headrest studs. Able to store stuff up out of the way off of the floor. Now, we've got some other stuff over here we're going to do a quick little unboxing on. Um, looks like some door entry guards, and you had, do you have door entry guards on yours now? No. Okay. No. I wanted to set, and then found these, they're rugged ridge, uh, but the difference between the ones you're running and these is this little top lip. And All right. what it does uh, is, well this is the passenger side because that goes over the boat goes up your stop about here mm -hmm. this goes over that little piece of metal much and better my truck it going black to that dark gray no big deal but on like your goby or the white or, or the reds um that you got to strip a paint well this is going to just make it all black and then it'll fold into the black of the carpet right uh, i just I just wanted to try that. Well, and I like that it'll protect it better too. You know, the whole idea is to keep the paint and stuff from getting chipped or scratched or whatever. And I have exposure across the top on mine where this should cover it up. Should cover it up. And I do hopes. like, these are flexible. What I have now is a hard plastic. And I took a look at those recently. And the problem with what I have on mine in the back, these, and I wonder if they're the same, they are. The ones on the back on mine actually have a bow in them. And that is a kind of a spring effect, if you will, and they're pulling up away from the paint, the adhesive, the, or the tape on the, the tape back. The turned loose. Yes. What else do you have there? This is just something that's purely cosmetic for the door latches, the, the U-bolt that sticks out that the, lock, the door lock catches. Mm -hmm. These just snap over them, and instead of having a little silver emblem in there, you now all you've got is a little silver gotcha. U bolt sticking out. Um, they're supposed to just stick, and you don't—they don't have to be glued. They just friction snap holds them friction on. Sounds like on. yeah. And it's not going to be a. There's no force being put on them to get them off. It comes with six. Okay. And uh, I obviously will use four, but. Uh, Crystal wants we can put two on hers. All right. I'm gonna follow Randall. This isn't really a two-man job, so If it is, we've got a whole series of other problems. Yeah, it's probably not. <laughs> right, right <laughs> And what he's talking about of course is this little latch area right here. You notice it's a beaming silver You know got to get rid of that chrome look Okay, stay tuned. Here you go. You might want to pay close attention yeah, Look that's that. complex. Yeah, that was hard. And, and it does snap over. That, I mean, pull it. Wow. I mean, you're gonna, you'd have to go in with a screwdriver or something and pry it out. Nice. I like that. But awesome. it does get rid of that. Yeah, as much as you can. I mean, obviously, you well, can't get rid of the rest. Okay, the rest of it, though, you can. Because it only latches here. 
you could actually paint this black very easily mm -hmm. and that would knock it all out you, you yeah. could knock up you could knock off all but that little you know have about a half inch of silver there hmm. okay let's check out the rear yeah that's it but that does look better it looks much better yeah <laughs> i think <laughs> Awesome. That's all it is. I mean, you keep pushing, and there's but there's, there's nothing no else to, to do. Now yeah. pull it, pull it off. Oh yeah, right. Break your finger <laughs> yeah. which I am, I am good at doing. So no, I mean it won't come off. It's so there you go. But it does. It's fairly simple. Oh yeah. And but to me, it looks better. Now then, if you run without your doors, mm -hmm. this can actually develop some rust and stuff. Well, mm -hmm. that's at least I'm going to cover it. Okay, so as far as the door or entry guards, uh, first up, you want to clean off the sill, obviously. Randall is doing that now, just using a little bit of rubbing alcohol, the go-to for cleaning, I think. Do that, obviously, to get any dirt or grime or anything off so that you have good adhesion. If there's any oil, anything that'll stop that tape from sticking. And the way these things are set up, they go all the way forward and they cover up this bolt. I like so that. So you look at where this is at and then that's how you know which side you got. Also a good uh, point to know where to put it. It's gonna, it's gonna go all the way like that. Nice. Now then they don't wrap over here. Mm -hmm. I wish they did, because see I've gotten a little. Yeah, yeah, and that's exactly w what you need this for, and it's too bad they'd be perfect if they did. The only type that I've found that does that is the uh, is what I have on the Tacoma ah. from Tough Skins. Tough Skins? Yeah, I'll show you that here in, in just a minute. Right here is what we've got from Tough Skins. Now, it is a little bit different, of course. We don't have the lip that comes up here, but you notice it goes down over the edge, it well works. over the edge yeah. here. And if this were the Jeep, you would think it would go over that as well as the top part. I mean, this is pretty slick, and so far you can see it's held up really well. Gives you a nice um, abrasive edge, I guess, for traction. and uh, traction, in, but it also just won't scratch. Yeah, I mean, to me that's ideal. And if they had a product like that for the Jeep, It'd be perfect. Okay, moving on to the rear. Same process, gonna clean it up with some rubbing alcohol and then uh, stick it on there. You can see there how it fits over the edge, same idea. The rear ones are identical, so I don't think it really matters which one goes where. Okay, so you can put them on either side. Yeah, they, they look the same. Here we go, placement of the rear. Don't forget, you have to push to get good adhesion. What reference point did you use to line it up or did you just pick a spot? I just picked a spot. It was just kind of by eye. I just kind of centered it up. Okay. But it's also kind of at the bottom of this down and just before it starts sloping up in the front, mm -hmm. it's where these, I just, it was purely by eye. Okay. Now this one comes all the way out. Further, yeah. It comes out farther. I'm going to go ahead and put the other two on and we'll show you the finished product. It is done and probably one of the easiest mods you can do, to be honest. Let's take a quick look, show you the finished product. You can see here in the front. Um, again, I like that these are flexible. Nice, good uh, look in here. And I like that they have this little nub here that fits right over in the front. Pretty nice, uh, pretty nice mod, I think, and that it covers the lip of the paint here. The only downside to this, and you can see right here, there's a scratch. See that? This is what we're trying to protect. Um, they don't cover the lip of the entry point. Too bad. Now, let's take a look at the back. Same kind of setup here. A little bit smaller, obviously, and just a little bit more coverage here. Again, doesn't go over the lip but does go over the top up here. Nice flexible application so that we don't have that problem of it cupping up like mine is doing on the other Jeep. If anybody is in the valley and wants a set of Gladiator rock rails, uh, respond and we'll hook up a meet and I'll give you a set. And what he's talking about, of course, are the sliders that went right across here. 
that were replaced by the steps that he has on there now. And you don't want to ship them because it's going to be 150 to 200 dollars to ship the things. So I mean, shipping is going to be crazy. But if you want a set of rails and you're down here, we can hook up and I can give you a set because I'm not ever going to put them back on this thing. Awesome. So there you go. If you're in the RGV in Deep South Texas and you're looking for some sliders or rock rails, whatever you want to call them, for the side of your Jeep Gladiator, just leave a comment down below. Randall will see it or we'll communicate whatever and then he'll meet you up somewhere and give them away. Anyway, appreciate you guys watching. Real quick, I do have an additional channel. It is Rob Motive, all about my 2020 Toyota Tacoma over there. Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye. Life-changing mods for the Jeep Gladiator. Uh-huh.